Power Director 16, let's take a look at the glitch effect. There are many ways to do glitches. This is just one way. I may even upload a couple more videos on how to do other glitches. If you guys hit me up in the comment section, let me know you want to see more. At any rate, I'm going to show you how to do a couple here. And hopefully it'll give you an idea on how to do glitches in your Power Director 16. I am going to take a look at... I'm going to bring down an actual bird I've got down here. And I'm not going to need it all, so we're going to shorten this up. So I'm going to show you how to do this like you've seen in the beginning of this video. And I'll just cut it there. Bring this down here. Then we'll switch over to this other bird I've got. We'll hook that up. And again, I'll just give that a simple cut there too. And I'll take this one off the back end. Add this one. And again... We'll cut this one here. This will make it pretty easy for you to see. Now the timeline here, as you can see, I've got this stretched right out as far as I can to the right. That's the first thing you want to do so you can keep track of this is what you want to do. And then what I've done is where I've cut this, I'm actually going to back up, I don't know, like seven or so. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm going to cut it there. So this way I've got this small piece here I'm working with. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I've got the same thing going on. I'm going to back it up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm going to cut it there. And now I've got a piece here I'm working with. And i got a piece here I'm working with. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the transition room. Now, in the transition room, I may have some I've downloaded. I'll have a link in the bottom. So you can actually click and go download some other transitions for free off the Power Director's uh, website. And you can do the same thing there. But uh, if I go to my favorites, I've got some here. One I have is called Interference. Um, interfere. The other one's Interfere 2. There's another Interfere. I mean, I've even got an X-ray type of one here. And you can even combine these. So in here I've got an actual roll. So I can bring this down and I'll drop it. Say just before, I didn't put it on this side. Okay, because I want it to be when it transitions into the actual, actual video when I get that glitch. So I'm going to put it there. And that's going to get it. So then I'll use, I don't know, maybe I'll use this one here. And again, I'll do that here. So now I've got actually two glitches happening here. So if we play that real quick, and you'll notice it kind of switches, that one kind of went black there for a second. So I may not even want to use that glitch, so let me delete that one. And all I did was click it and hit delete. Let's try maybe this one here instead. And then I'll play it again. That's not too bad. I still get the black in there. Did you notice that? Let me see. Let's try the x-ray one. What's that one look like? Maybe that'd be a little bit cooler. Yeah, that's a little bit cooler. Now, what gives a glitch effect the really glitch? You'll notice when I put these so-called transitions in here. I mean, it really doesn't look that great with the transitions, does it? And if you search online, I don't remember where I got this, but there was somebody offering them completely free, these uh, glitch sounds. And all I've done is put it there. And then I'm going to make sure I clip that sound there. And again, I want to make sure I've got one basically there where the glitch are actually happening. And then I'll clip it there. So now let's see what we got and see what that sounds like. You see, now the sound really gives the glitch its uh, the look of what it's doing. And that's one way of doing a glitch effect within PowerDirector 16. You really just got to make sure where you're cutting and where you're dropping a transition in. I've even got a TV static transition here I have that... Um, I could even run for that one. So, for example, I could just um, 
just cut that one there and then again I'm just gonna go back say I don't know one two well make sure I click off there we go one two three four five ah, I'll do five on that one and then uh, that'll give me that look but then I can bring this down and this one's kind of different because we're not it's not a transition we're not laying it on top and you'll notice I got nothing there so I'm gonna bring this down and I'm just trying to get to the point where the TV changes and it starts over here okay so I'll go there and I'll cut that one off then I'll back it up and this is where the actual TV begins so literally what I'm doing is I just want to put that probably in there so I need to cut a little bit of that off so I cut it there we'll get rid of the back end all I'm doing is clicking and deleting and now I want to put it right about there and again I want it to transition there so I'm going to cut it there and now I'm going to have it sitting actually there okay and the same thing applies I, I'm going to want to just put some sound there yet, or I could leave the sound I'm going to leave it actually so then I come back and you see it happens pretty quick now at first you look at it and you're thinking well it's kind of not when you actually produce this and compile it it'll look better is what it'll look like but you can make these bigger longer you can even run them two or three times so I only went back what was it, like seven here I could do three of these in a row and then you would actually see that transition spark more on the screen now at the same time I could do this too and here's another quick way to do a transition you could do what's considered uh, a flicker and uh, well maybe that'll be another video guys but this is one form of doing the doing the um, transitioning into the glitch for power director 16 and there's many ways to do this this is not just the only way I mean it all depends on which transitions you have it depends on which screens you got I mean and there's even some out there that you can buy to give you different looks if you want I mean if you do a search you'll just see like there's hundreds or they'll say 300 different glitch transitions to actually integrate and stuff so there's a lot that can be done you can even make your own if you mess with your camera a little bit but this is just a quick tutorial on how to make a glitch for yourself as you've seen in the beginning I also put it on the end but you can actually see how to do a quick glitch by simply cutting your video in different places and actually using the transition room to get your effects don't forget I'll have links in the bottom to some of this stuff so that way you know where to get them and like always guys sub up give me a comment let me know what you want to see at any rate I'll catch you guys on the next one